taken the first day. The commercial interests of the Packers are now so dominant they can't be escaped. A case in point is a recent edition of 60 Minutes. Tonight on 60 Minutes. Violence is entertainment. A culture where teenagers are trained to kill. How video games and movies can spark a massacre. Until we stop this, the killings won't stop. Reporter of Gravity, Richard Carlton, introduced a story on the impact of violent films and video games. Now this story, by necessity, does have scenes of violence, so do be warned. It was an American 60-minute story which cited the film Natural Born Killers. Any, meeny, miny, no. you are <laughs> The film is alleged to have been involved in more than a dozen copycat killings. It mentioned legal action which is now being sought against the makers of the film. Two months ago, the U.S. Supreme Court sent a chill through Hollywood by allowing a lawsuit to move forward against Time Warner and director Oliver Stone. The suit alleges that after repeatedly watching their movie Natural Born Killers, two teenagers, Sarah Edmondson and Ben Darris, went on a murderous rampage in 1995. One other defendant is likely to be the production house which made the nasty little horror, Regency Films, of which Mr Packer's PBL has a 20% stake. The video's a cult hit with Australian teenagers and Channel 9 has the rights to run it in prime time.